Hi guys, it's me again and this time I'm uh, coming to you with a, with a few tips on how to speed up your Galaxy Note. So uh, when I bought this phone I was amazed by, uh, on paper I was amazed by the technical, I mean the tech specs. Uh, but when I was using the phone, especially when I was using something like Go Launcher X, there was quite a bit of lag that I faced. So if you do have a phone that's not rooted or you don't have a custom ROM installed on it, I suggest you go ahead and install uh, Go Launcher X and uh, tap menu, hit effects, I'm sorry, tap menu, hit effects and change your home screen transition to, transition to say spear or cylinder, uh, cylinder and you'd see that it's gonna lag like crazy. So uh, how I got around this is I first went ahead and rooted my phone. So in case you don't know how to root your phone, click on the link that pops up that's gonna take you to the root tutorial. Okay, the next thing I did was I installed a custom ROM on the phone and this is the ROM that I installed, Rocket ROM and that's what I'm gonna review in this video. So uh, how to install a custom ROM? Click on the link that pops up right now. Yeah, the video that's gonna, that it's gonna take you to will be demonstrated on the Acer Iconia A500 but the theory is pretty much the same so you can follow that tutorial. Uh, even for the Galaxy Note. Okay, and uh, if you if you have a rooted phone and you know how to install ROMs, this is the link that uh, you need to click on to go to uh, the XDA forum, the thread where you can download uh, uh, Rocket ROM version 20 or whatever the latest version is. Uh, so, so let me just get into some of the features of Rocket ROM. Uh, the first thing that I noticed once I installed this is that it's very very smooth, it's very very fast uh, and there are quite a bit of tweaks that, are, that have been put in place here. For example, uh, the call log does not show messages anymore using this. I mean, uh, and, in a, and another one is it comes up with, some, I mean, there's something optional that can be added with the ROM called JK's mod and uh, let me just show you that. You can access it from something called DLX settings over here. So this helps you change your lock screen, set the quick settings panel, the quick launch panel, uh, the status bar options. Okay, let's let me start with the status bar options. So <coughs> uh, on the status bar options, say I take show clock off. You you don't see the clock on the status bar anymore. Okay, clock back on. Uh, I'm gonna take off the alarm icon, and that's gone. The battery icon, icon gone. So there are pretty much a lot of tweaks that can be done, and similarly the quick settings panel. Uh, as of now, it's got Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, GPS, and auto rotation on, but you can add flashlight, secure mode, screen on, auto brightness, flight mode, silent mode, vibrate, sync, background data, all these toggles. Uh, these are the toggles you see when you pull down, pull, pull down this bar, I mean the notification bar and these are the toggles. You can change these toggles. Uh, similarly, you can also change these toggles that when you press and hold the power button, the phone options that come up, these are my custom options. Uh, so using this ROM and JK mod, you can go ahead and change this as well. And the last uh, thing that JK Mod does is uh, the lock screen. So you can customize which uh, uh, I'm sorry, which uh, shortcuts you need, the flashlight and so on. Uh, you might think, uh, what advantage does this give you over, say, widget locker? The advantage that I see is uh, this pretty much works like the stock interface. As in, um, say you receive a message or you receive a call, it's gonna actually, sh I'm sorry, it's gonna actually show up over here. Uh, let me just call myself, just give me a minute. Okay, I'm calling myself right now. Okay. It's a missed call, and if you can see the notification over here is turned turn red, and I can see one missed call. So, 
uh, it behaves per, I mean pretty much uh, like the st I mean like stock not like uh, say widget lock widget locker uh, if you use widget locker you would notice that it's not as perfect as stock you do get notifications but it's not perfect there are quite a few bugs in it so forget about it uh, this uh, lock screen works pretty good for me so I recommend it uh, and what else what else yeah another thing they've added is again I feel this should have been a standard function with any phone any Android phone for that they've added a record button so you can record oh, I picked up the call Damn. anyway so you can record any you can record any conversation that you want and you don't hear the beeps while it's while it records records so uh, if you want to do it you can so that's one more so the phone is smooth uh, you get the record option what else what else did I miss out uh, okay the kernel that has been used is the abyss kernel so that lets you overclock your phone to say 1.7 gigahertz if I'm not wrong I don't know if I'm wrong somebody just leave a comment and I'll probably annotate it into the video but as far as I know to my knowledge the abyss kernel lets you overclock the phone to up to 1.7 gigahertz I've not uh, tried it on set CPU if I have set CPU installed I'll try it right now okay 1.7 yep So 1.7 is uh, what this kernel lets you uh, overclock the phone to. And again, uh, the battery, what do you say, the uh, a battery changes by 1% uh, increments and that's also a, a default part of the ROM. So you don't need to have the battery icon over there and the, I mean, the number percentages. Uh, you can just have either one. For American users or European users, uh, if you have your, what do you say, if you have your carrier's name being displayed over here, you can have that disabled too by using JK's mod. Uh, one thing that you need to do once you get this uh, ROM installed uh, is you need to go ahead and go into Titanium Backup and freeze Wi-Fi Sharing and Wi-Fi Sharing Manager. It will be on, it will be on the downloads pages uh, itself. Uh, so. If you have any doubts about it, just send me a message, I'll help you out with it. Um, the auto brightness levels have also been lowered by default so that it helps you save battery. Coming to the battery part of this, uh, uh, this ROM, I've been getting an awesome battery life with this. Uh, I don't consider myself a heavy user. Uh, I'd probably co consider myself a moderate user or somewhere between low to moderate. Uh, I, another thing is I don't have a 3G connection so my data connection is off I use the phone uh, okay let me just show you my battery stats so that you'll know what kind of a user I am so this is my battery usage and if you can see uh, I use it predominantly for voice calls and okay let me just go into this uh, the phone has been awake uh, awake at times and the screen has been on I've not charged it in a day and 17 hours that is a whooping uh, 41 hours and I still have 10% juice left and the kicker is the fact that I'm not even using the original Samsung battery oops let me just open it up I'm using an aftermarket battery and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note original battery and when I ran looping video tests on both this one gave me close to nine hours on a full charge uh, with full brightness on and an HD video on loop and this one gave me six hours so that's about six to six percent the efficiency of the original battery and even with this battery I'm getting over a day almost two days of uh, backup I mean I'm not sure that you'd get the same because uh, most people use 3G or Wi-Fi I don't use Wi-Fi I mean I do use Wi-Fi say like for an hour or two max in a day uh, I don't use 3G so my usage is pretty low but I can assure you that you probably get at least 18 to 24 hours of uh, battery backup with this ROM so that is extremely good in my opinion 
so uh, that's another plus on the negative side for this ROM uh, I have been facing some issues with Bluetooth it's not worth uh, I mean the pros far outweigh the cons but with Bluetooth uh, this is the headset that I use this is the headset I use the Jabra BT3030 and I've been using this headset for I don't know four five years now uh, I've been using it with my I started using it with my Nokia Express Music 5800 iPhone Desire HTC Desire HD and now the Galaxy Note and till date I've never had a problem with disconnection but with the uh, Galaxy Note running the Rocket ROM uh, the Bluetooth tends to be finicky at times uh, I have had a few disconnections not too much to actually talk about it but at times say I'm riding my bike I need to you know I'm listening to music I get a call and it gets disconnected in the middle I need to just you know uh, park my bike somewhere and get it worked on again but uh, in all the pros as I said outweigh the cons by a lot so uh, that's pretty much it for this review I think this ROM is awesome and uh, I have tried a few other ROMs but I've not really used them for a long time this this is the one I've stuck with because I don't know what else to expect from a ROM so uh, that's pretty much it so that's it guys for this video uh, on the rocket ROM so if you have any kind of questions about it please send me a message or leave me a comment uh, or you can hit me up on Twitter at cursed forever that's C-U-R-S-E-D the number 4 E-V-A uh, I'd make sure I get back to you as quick as possible. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, if you have any other ideas or any, any kind of uh, requests for the Galaxy Note or Acer Iconia or uh, the Blackberry Playbook, let me know and I'll probably try to make a video on it as quick as possible. So once again, once again guys, thanks a lot for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye now.